Hi friends, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to share with you something that I have been experimenting with. Now a lot of you know I'm very transparent. I love to share with you, you know, really what's going on, what's happening, things that I'm trying out, what I'm doing, what I'm experimenting with. And I'm very open to let you guys know what I've been trying. Now last year I had made the decision and the commitment to cut out uh, cacao powder and ultimately also cocoa powder. Um, cacao powder is the unprocessed uh, version of cocoa powder um, and I decided to do that. I will leave the link for the video here and in the link in the description so you can check that out so you can understand uh, my explanation of why I had done that. Um, essentially I wasn't feeling good so I had done that and I felt so much better so I cut that out it's feeling amazing um, and now I've experimented adding it back in again so now that we've come to Thailand I found it extremely difficult and I actually still haven't found it carob powder um, so I was using carob powder as a replacement um, a great it's a great alternative for cocoa powder or cacao powder because it doesn't have theobromine and it doesn't have any neurotoxins or caffeine in um, in the uh, carob pod whereas cocoa beans do have that so having cocoa and cacao in small amounts totally fine in my opinion um, however I got to the point where I was really really addicted to it and I was having a lot like I'm talking I think it was like I got like up to 40 grams of cacao or cocoa in my nice cream it's almost like a quarter cup of cacao powder or cocoa anyway so I went crazy with it and I was feeling the effects from it so I, I said um, I wasn't able to balance it and have it just a small amounts here and there it, it was for me that thing was just all or nothing so cut it out now that we've come here I can't find carob powder and I was saying to my hubby that I kind of wanted to make that experiment by trying a bit of cocoa powder so the results from that are pretty outstanding um, I didn't experience any of the symptoms that I had when I had cacao powder the unprocessed version of cocoa um, and so I was blown away by that I thought wow it tastes so chocolatey it's delicious and I'm a chocolate fan by the way and so I was able to enjoy the chocolate flavor and not experience those symptoms of what I had when I was um, eating the cacao powder so my thoughts on that are that maybe because the ca cacao powder is not processed because it's so raw and in its pure form that it would be stronger than co cocoa powder and so maybe I was thinking that um, also too I'm only using 20 grams in my nice cream of cocoa powder so I'm using like half the amount and I'm feeling very satisfied with that it's still very chocolatey um, so I'm not experiencing the symptoms I'm able to enjoy it so it's like win-win all around and I've been experimenting with it for about I think it's just over a week now I've been having it every few days randomly maybe two three days a week and so I'm feeling pretty good about it so mentally physically emotionally I think it's really great that I'm able to um, try some try something out again that didn't work for me before but now it might work for me so I just wanted to share that with you in case you see it in the what I ate today videos and also hope to inspire some of you to uh, listen to your body uh, listen to your cravings your wants your needs I personally can't live without any chocolate flavors I'm a huge chocolate fan so having something like that as a, like a replacement from like a chocolate bar or something is really important to me and I just want everybody to get to a place where they're super happy and balanced with their diet that they're eating in a way that makes them feel good physically mentally emotionally spiritually in all aspects and I feel like having a little bit of that which now I'm able to balance versus being extreme where I can't have it at all because I can't have just a little bit of it it's really it's really great it feels good so if you're someone who is in a position where you cannot have just a small amount of something and you you, you overindulge or you feel sick to the point where you've binged on it um, or it's just making you feel bad all in all I would recommend just stop cold turkey and not have it at all don't have it in any way shape or form in your diet or your lifestyle um, but if you're someone who is able to physically and uh, mentally uh, 
eat something that is not so healthy for you but in small amounts here and there and it it feels good for you, it's satisfying, then you should do that. So I'm kind of getting to that point now with cocoa powder. So I'm not experiencing any of the negative symptoms. I feel good physically, mentally. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I hope you guys like the video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below and subscribe for more. If you're new to my channel, I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time.